Hey guys, how's it going? Um, somebody asked me to show them how I managed to get the uh, iPad Logic Remote screen to appear on the desktop using QuickTime Player. Um, well, it's pretty simple. Um, I just go and open QuickTime Player. Right. Okay, QuickTime Player is this thing will pop up saying, you know, do you want to load something up or whatever? Just, just do done. And then I go to the QuickTime Player menu here just to show you. This is QuickTime Player 10.4. Okay. Okay, so you go to File, New Movie Recording. Okay, oh, and the little record thing there, you drop that little arrow down and you choose the iPad as the source for the recording. I'm borrowing my friend's iPad, hence it says Steve's iPad. Okay, you can choose the audio source as well, but obviously if you're using Logic Remote it doesn't make any audio sound, but if you were using some app on the iPad that made sound, um, you could choose that for the audio source as well. So that's all you do, just choose the iPad as the source for that recording, then I just open Logic Remote, <coughs> uh, like that, and then I can just size it to any size that I want. And then the other thing that I do with the videos, because I obviously want to be able to touch things in Logic, and if you do, it'll QuickTime Player will be put behind Logic. So you just get the QuickTime Player, and uh, where is it? Uh, float on top. Now, if I touch the background Logic, this just stays floating on top, and I can make it any size I want. Well, that's how I did that, okay? And then just to finish, I'm not actually recording the screen of the iPad using the QuickTime Player. I'm simply using it to get the image of the Logic Remote floating above Logic. Then I'm using a, another software called ScreenFlow to capture my entire desktop, including the audio output from Logic and my microphone all at the same time. So it captures the whole desktop, including this floating QuickTime overlay. But I'm not actually using the record facility to record this output from the iPad. You could do that if you wanted to make a movie of only what was on the iPad. Okay, all right guys, hope that's useful.